Alrighty, so on to the next. Welcome friends and fans of Bob's Farm Workshop. If this is your first visit, welcome. I don't usually uh, feature cooking. I do mostly game recipes and stuff like that during hunting season. Candy maybe. Um, but today, yesterday, or this earlier today, I made the film of how to make your cauliflower vegan soup. Delish. And now my wife um, was doing rice and bean stuffed vegan stuffed peppers. Now we've had those before and they're delicious. You would never miss the meat, believe me. I was just test fitting the six peppers that we have into the crock pot and I'm sure I can wedge them in there. So what I got to do is I got to cut the tops out of these, clean out the guts, wash them up. Um, then I have to mix we already boiled the lentils and rice. Now what you do is you boil your brown rice 15 minutes, simmer it. Then you throw in your lentils, your bag of lentils. I'll see how many. Three quarter cup uncooked brown lentils, rinsed and drained. And that would be three quarters of a cup of brown rice. So that's the mixture. After you throw the lentils in, you let it simmer another 25 minutes, turn it off, let it sit on the stove, it absorbs all the water. So there's your stuffing. Now we're going to add stuff to that, which is just going to be home canned tomatoes and good old Campbell's tomato soup. Now, here's a hint. Anything you've got canned, you buy from the store or whatever. I saw this online once. Always wash the tops. They've been stored in warehouses, trucks, who knows where? You got rodents, you got bugs, you got everything like that running around there. So now after I've heard about that, <laughs> I wash the tops of all my jars and cans off before I open them. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut the tops out of these, clean out the guts and the seeds, and then we're going to mix that stuff into the lentils and rice, and save a little on the side for the top. Alright, let me get started here. I got my favorite steak knife slash vegetable knife that I use for everything. I'm going to first rinse the pepper off. Alright. Got my... I'm going to go around the top edge. Like so. Pack out that. And then I'm going to have to reach down inside and cut these webs. And pull out as much as I can. It's all green peppers, so right? It's all good. It's all good. And then, not a lot. Rinse out the seeds. You ever get green peppers sometimes they have like those baby green peppers growing right inside? Little pod people? That's weird. Okay, so I'm just going to do this to the rest of them. That's what you want it to look like. Making a cup out of it. Alright, we'll come back. Alright, well I reached down in there with a knife and cut some of the webbing out of this pepper. The camera was just balking that it was going to shut off on me so I just started it again. I just keep cutting on these, working out the guts. I love green peppers, cooked raw any way I can get them. How come I got seven? I thought I only had six. That's all right. Okay, that's good for now. All right, so I got my shells cut, fit in here, cleaned out. Um, I did pour about a half a cup of water in the bottom which according to the directions wasn't my plan. Now I'm going to mix up the tomatoes and it says that I can use some of the leftovers from these pepper tops but there don't seem to be a whole lot left to chop up and put into the mix. So I'm going to salvage some of that. Clean it up. 
so we can chop it up and put it in the filling. I guess maybe I was supposed to cut those holes bigger. I don't know. This is my first time, so that's what she said. They need a little bit more washing up. Oops. I got another couple of pieces of pepper that I... piece of pickled pepper. Wash the seeds off, that's all I'm doing. the seeds aren't poison. My mother-in-law mother used to treat them like they were some kind of poison. Oh no, don't get any seeds in there. Alright. Let me see what else I got in here. Sorry, I was covering that up, wasn't I? I got another little piece of tapa in here somewhere. It's got stuffed. stuff. There it is. Yeah, that'll be that. Oh, I just noticed there's some venison crumbles in there too. I made uh, venison breakfast sausage crumbles the other day. I made, if you remember and watch anything on my channel, I made venison sausage, uh, breakfast sausage last year and I'm still eating on that. I'm tempted to get my muzzle loader license to go hunting again. I just I love to hunt. Okay, so I'm cutting this up fine. Is there a spare? My granddaughter just called and locked herself out of her car. I thought you weren't supposed to be able to do that with these modern cars. I guess her car isn't that modern. I'm not going to try to slice this. I'm going to chop this. So I'm just going to do the old... That's what these... These are not meat knives. These are vegetable knives. The murder movies always have guys using these knives, but the vegetable choppers. See how it's curved so it rocks? Hate to burst your bubble. Michael Myers or soup. Oh good, it kind of come out like a log that time. Sometimes it's a, uh, it doesn't cooperate. And you leave half the soup in the can and just scrape it out as I'm doing. That's what they make those little red, or those little plastic spatulas for, right? Boss informed me that I have to put onion in here too and that I need to saute them first. See why it's good to have her around? So. I always try to use segments of the onion to my advantage so I only have to slice so much. And just let it separate itself. Alright. That looks good. That looks real good. So I'm going to saute these peppers and onions so they get tender. 
Sorry for the clattering around. Right. I'm just going to saute these in water. No oils or anything like that added. Just keep adding a drizzle of water to uh, Keep them from burning. I'll put them on the hot burner right over here. We do love this new stove. We got this last Christmas. Actually, we bought it on Christmas Eve. We went shopping on Christmas Eve last year for our appliances. So I'm betting the girl who worked at the local Orville's was happy when we Yeah, I guess this is just to tenderize the vegetables inside so they're not, uh, you know, crunchy. So, I wonder what Shania Twain is doing you now. Meanwhile, while those guys are sautéing, I'm going to come over here, open up my jar, which I already did, open up my jar of uh, home canned tomatoes, and I'm going to take a very sharp knife, I'm going to run it through like this, and stir to cut up the tomato into smaller chunks. Mm. I've already put the tomato in here, the tomato soup. Dump that in there. Slurry this around a little bit. Now we don't have to mix it up too much right now because we got the onions and peppers to go in here as soon as they're sauteed. It's going to look like stuffed peppers, isn't it? So we're coming along. Again, the recipe my wife had was out of a magazine. It was three quarters of a cup of brown rice, boiled for 15, simmered for 15 minutes, throw in three quarters of a cup of uh, dry lentils, simmer that another 25 minutes. Then we added a can of Campbell's tomato soup, quart of home canned tomatoes, or you can get a quart of crushed tomatoes at the store. Those are going in there. And then we have onion and peppers that I'm browning up here to saute and then soften them. We're going to mix that into the filling, spoon it into the peppers, and uh, let her sit for three hours. Now I think I'm going to don't tell my wife. I'm going to vary from the recipe a little bit. I'm going to add some of this parsley. People neglect parsley, dried parsley actually has wonderful flavor. And I'm going to throw a little bit of that thyme in there. Shh. It might be in the recipe. I haven't even got the recipe. So she took it away here somewhere. I don't know where it went. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that thyme in there. How much? I don't know. Half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, teaspoon, whatever you like. Stir it up. I'm going to look for that recipe. You saw the seven 
peppers that I hollowed out, put in the crock pot, washed them up, of course, put a little water in the bottom. I hear my uh, peppers and onions over here are starting to get done. They're sizzling. these. Sorry about the bottom of the pan in your face. We're just going to dump those right into this filling. Get this show on the road here. So these are done by dinner time because a crock pot you know has to cook for many hours. And it's already two o'clock so we're going to eat at six. That gives us four hours. Stir my salt. Oh, my salt. peppers and onions in. That looks like the stuff, people. Don't that look like the stuffing for stuffed peppers? Let me test this for salt. And my cat thinks she needs to be fed. She smells it. Ooh, golly that's good. A little more salt. Salt and pepper, pretty much worldwide. Universal spices, isn't it? <laughs> snort, snort. Now there's going to be plenty of this. I'm going to try to lift you up over here. There's going to be plenty of this. I'm going to just squeeze the tripod together a little bit and try not to knock you over. All right. You're going to spoon this into the peppers. It doesn't matter if I spill some because it's all going to be dumped on top anyway. So I'm just filling these guys up, tamp them down a little bit. Mm. It's loose enough that it's actually, I can see it filling in around everything inside those peppers. So you don't have to be a master chef to get this stuff down in there. Chef Tell. Oh yeah? You think so, old lady? Unfortunately, my old lady is dying. She has cancer in the roof of her mouth going into her sinuses and there's nothing that can be done for her. So I'm hoping that she'll make it through the end of the year. She loves to lay under the Christmas tree. He's on my lap and purrs to me. Sleeps with me every night, so I'm a little bit bummed. My little girl's got a... She is 14 and a half. She's lived a wonderful life, George. I already paid for a big expensive operation. All right. There we go. Cover the crock pot. I'm going to cover it, carry it across the room. Yeah, you too. Put her in. Turn it on low. Now that's going to sit. It says for three hours, but it'll be probably four by the time we eat. So we're just going to let those bake and uh, hopefully that will soften up the peppers. I'm going to turn it on high for a little while. The water in the bottom will help steam it too. Alright, we're going to just let that go until we sit, see the reveal. Oh, and if you like the looks of my galley kitchen, you can see the video last year in February when we actually 
remodeled this. Now all we did in this area is we had all new quartz countertops and backsplash put in and uh, I put all new handles and uh, new, new stainless Samsung appliances and I did in the dining area here a uh, faux wainscot with batten and board look. You can see how I did all this. And my wife's wonderful Christmas display this year. Deer and birds and all kinds of stuff all in white. And these all have LED lights that come on when it gets dark. It's beautiful. Alright guys, see you next well, time. Well here we go. I didn't get the chance to show scooping them out, but there they are. They are all done. And this is how they look when they're served up. And I'm eating one now, and it's delicious. And oh yeah, it's very delicious. I added just a little salt and more, salt and pepper. And I'll try not to make too many munching sounds here. But so very good. Pepper got I had to leave them in until seven o'clock. So that means they were in there not quite five hours, but I did leave it on high. I like the peppers to be cooked all the way through. Oh man, I lost my pepper. Mm. All right, guys and gals. Down in the family room watching a little wheel. Got the Christmas tree up here. A few lights. On the mantle. Christmas is just four or five days away. So Merry Christmas to you guys. We'll see you next time. God bless. Take care.